All right, guys. Today I'm working on a problem that I've been dealing with for a while with my truck. So when I first bought it, the uh, owner, the previous owner, didn't even have any power steering fluid in the power steering reservoir because he said the power steering fluid would just disappear. So here's my power steering reservoir. This is a 3VZ engine. It's power steering. And ever since I bought the truck, the power steering has been leaking. As you can see, I just filled it up like two days ago and it's already on the bottom. Um, but I've double checked, triple checked. There is no leak that's visible. Um, I've actually put some UV dye in it and put on my fancy glasses to look for the leak. There has been no leak since I replaced the pump. This is a brand new pump, brand new lines, brand new return line, brand new power uh, pressure line. Uh, there is absolutely no leak anywhere that I can find visibly. No leak around the steering uh, gearbox. So since I couldn't find any visible leaks, there is only one reason I'm losing power steering fluid. That is that guy right there. Do you see? The light is shining on it. That's called the power steering vacuum control valve. And it helps the power steering pump to uh, release the vacuum, release pressure. And uh, if you pull, so how you diagnose it is, if you pull off any one of the two uh, vacuum hoses that's connected to it and you see red power steering fluid coming out of it, um, that means it's leaking power steering fluid. So I'll show you what I find out right now. All right, so over here I am removing the battery and the battery tray to gain easy access to the part. So I can just put a 17 millimeter wrench on it and take it right out. And now as you can see guys, it's right there. It's very easy to just put a wrench on it and take it out and replace it with a new one. Yes, um, I'm very happy that I put the catching pan down there. As you can see, automatic transmission fluid is gushing out. I hate ATF on my floor. So yeah, we'll let that drain a little bit and uh, we'll obviously put the valve back in and then replace it with fresh fluid. And you always want to compare the new part with the part you're replacing. They look to be about the same to me. The threads look the same, both 17 millimeter. So we're gonna put the new part on the truck. And I always like to put a little Teflon tape on these um, <clears throat> threads because I know it won't hurt it. I'm not sure how effective it's gonna be for such heavy pressure, but uh, you know, just put it on there. Hey guys, checking in after uh, replacing the vacuum control valve on the power steering. Uh, it's been a few hundred miles. Usually by this point my power steering will be whining like crazy and I'm out of fluid because the fluid had been uh, sucked in into the, valve, uh, the vacuum control valve. So I'm hoping that when I open the cover here I'll see a full reservoir of power steering fluid. So here we go. Ready? Ta -da. Look at that guys. Right on the mark. Right exactly how much I filled up a few weeks ago. So my re repair worked. All I replaced was that guy down there. Um, don't know if you can see it. That guy right there the black uh, control valve that the vacuum hose goes to. Yeah, so I guess something's going right. Um, yeah, I'm very happy. No longer need to uh, fill out power steering fluid once every couple weeks. So there you go. If your power steering fluid is uh, uh, mysteriously disappearing from your Toyota pickup, that's one of the reasons uh, you could be doing that.